Assalamu alaikum. 1 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Shiraz Mahmood Khan. First, the headlines. Special Assistant on Information and Broadcasting has expressed confidence in the Afghan Taliban talks with Pakistani Foreign Minister will yield positive results. Malaysia has lauded Pakistan Navy's effort for maritime security. Kashmir Day is being observed in the country to express solidarity with the people of occupied Kashmir. In occupied Kashmir, people suffering continue as restrictions and communications block it completes two months today. And now news in detail. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Firdas Ashik Awan, says the talks of delegation of Taliban political commission with Foreign Minister in Islamabad yesterday is a positive sign for Afghan reconciliatory process. In a tweet today, she said the process is evident of the fact that Pakistan has played an important role to create favorable environment for regional and global peace. The special assistant has said that Afghan Taliban delegations meeting with foreign minister was a part of this process and it will hopefully yield a positive result. Naval Chief Zafar Mahmoud Abbasi held meeting with Malaysian Defense Minister YB Tuan Haji Muhammad Sabu and Naval Chief Admiral Datuk Muhammad Raza bin Muhammad Sani in Kuala Lumpur and discussed bilateral relations and matters of mutual interest. The two sides stressed on the need of joint naval exercises between Malaysia and Pakistan. Malaysian Def Defense Minister and Naval Chief in landed Pakistan's efforts on maritime security. Kashmir Day is being observed in Islam and in all the country to express solidarity of the people of Indian Jammu and Kashmir against Indian brutalities. Public rallies will be held across the country to express solidarity with Kashmir and shared feeling with people of occupied Kashmir under the theme justice for the people of Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In addition, human chain will be formed in federal provinces, capitals including Azad, Jammu and Kashmir, and Gilgit Baltistan to, to, to express solidarity with the people of Kashmir who are under siege for about two months. London-based weekly The Economist says that India's jurisdiction to ignore government's abuses in occupied Kashmir the people in, in an article says that more than 7 million of occupied Kashmir feel urgency of judicial decisions on petition challenging the government's action in Kashmir as they are suffering with fifth, from since 5th August and continue to be under siege. The economists note that BJP-led government has turned the occupied territory in an open-air detention center. In occupied Kashmir, the suffering of the people continue and restrictions and communications blockade completes two months today. The continued communi communication blockade is badly affecting common people, especially those professionals dependent on internet, students and journalists. Meanwhile, India police is continue to crack down arrest for more Kashmiris, including Hurriyat leaders and religious scholars in Kishwar and Doda districts. Over 20 persons have been arrested by the police during four days of in these districts. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor offers enormous potential to boost national economy and reduce poverty. This has stated by the planning minister Mahdu Khusro Bakhtiar while talking to the ambassador of China, Yao Jing, who called on him in Islamabad. Chinese ambassador Yao Jing on the occasion said that ongoing phase of CPEC would bring about socioeconomic benefits of the welfare of the people of Pakistan. In Afghanistan, three civilians were killed and another injured after a rocket landed on a house in Wardak province today. In Ukraine, four curfew uh, were killed when a cargo plane made an emergency landing near the western airport of WIF today. The first 
T20 of three matches, match series between Pakistan and Sri Lanka will be played in Lahore tomorrow. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch our live streaming bulletin on facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.